Hello guys, in this video I'm going to tell you about a fix that I found a few years ago uh, that helped me be able to use this Dell uh, printer without uh, connection uh, issues. Okay, so when I found the fix for this printer, I wasn't making uh, YouTube videos. And just now I bought this printer for my cousin and uh, remembered of the trouble that I uh, had with this one and thought that I, I could share it with, with you. Maybe it helps somebody even with newer Dell printers, I have no clue. This is obviously older, both of them uh, laser color printers, uh, a few years difference between them. But this was really cheap, so yeah, that's why I bought it. Okay, so uh, what I experienced with this one. Uh, sometimes uh, it would not even install the driver. It would start to install the driver, then the printer would, complete, would completely disappear, although it was still on. Uh, I would send a, uh, when I managed to install the driver, I would send a print to it. Sometimes it would uh, start to print it. Uh, and then stop. I don't know, maybe a few pages that got to it would print, the others, bye, I would, I would lose them. Uh, other times uh, it would just not reach it. It would simply fail to print. So I tried to upgrade the drivers, obviously, first thing. I even went to the trouble of upgrading the firmware on these things. Uh, and now I think about it because it was a connection problem that was really risky. I could have bricked it. I was lucky it didn't uh, become bricked. Still didn't help anything. So then I think uh, I thought about it. What could create a, a connection problem between it and the computer? At the moment I got this cable with it. Uh, it's not a Dell cable. It's just a random printer cable from the company that sold it to me. I tried with uh, more uh, high quality cables because it, as you can see this is pretty thin and the higher quality cable it's a little bit thicker. Uh, with the higher quality cable it would print a little bit better. Not always but a little bit better. So I thought okay, something isn't reaching the printer well. But even with the high quality it's not perfect so what could it be? Then something uh, hit me. Uh, could it be just some interference? Because I didn't see uh, any uh, beads on this thing. Uh, there are those uh, ferrite beads on two cables. Let me just show you one in a moment. Okay. This is a ferrite bead. For sure uh, you've seen smaller ones on uh, various chargers, on data cables, whatever. Uh, this uh, filter uh, interference, I'm not going to pretend that I know exactly how this works because I don't un in all honesty. I just try and understand the concept behind it. So I took my uh, cheap cable and did something like this. I got this ferrite from a small transformer. I, I'm not really sure where I got it. Some electronics obviously. And I just passed the cable through it. This is not how you should do it. You should come with the cable from one side, make a loop, come back in on the other side if you can do it, even two loops and uh, on the other side. What I did here was yeah, something. But it started to print way more consistently. So I was on to something at that point. And uh, this was version A. Let me show you version B, another ferrite bead on a high quality cable. Obviously I needed to cut the cable here so I could do this uh, correct loop. Uh, and from that moment on using this cable, which is not a brand cable, it's just thicker and better quality and it has this ferrite uh, ring on it. This printer has worked flawlessly six years, seven years from when I own it. A few months when I, I, I bought it, I thought it's, it's damaged and I would send it back. Sometimes it would work, sometimes not. After this, 
it is working perfectly. So I'm thinking these things have very poor filters on the data input, on the communication between it and the computer. That's my single explanation. Lots of people with this particular model would have uh, problems with the printers not waking up from standby. I'm thinking it was not the printer itself. Actually, data would not reach the printer uh, in a proper manner. Because mine is waking up now, although I don't uh, really leave it in standby, I shut it off. Most of the time I print rarely on it. Uh, it will wake from standby without hesitation on any Windows version, any driver version. So the printer itself was perfect, all the problems because of cables and of poor filtering in the printer itself. So if your printer gives you trouble, try and do this. Hopefully it works for you. I cannot know for sure, I just wanted to share my, my, my story and my fix with you. Maybe it helps if even one person is helped by this, that is good enough for me. So yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, thank you for uh, watching, hopefully you will like the video. Check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Bye.